When I'm walking Georgia May, I always make sure that she's next to me on a loose leash. And the way that I've uh, gotten her to stop pulling so much is to always, okay, I'm gonna turn so she's closer to the camera. See, always hold it, the leash, the part that goes to her coming out the back of your hand. And of course it's attached to the collars as explained on the, the crate in the crate video, I explain all that. And then we got a six feet foot leash, it's a simple six foot leash. And you don't wanna have it super loose cause then you can't control her and she'll be pulling you. So just have it about that long. There's still some slack. If she goes ahead of you, you can just do a little prompt like that. You're never popping, causing pain. You're never holding it like this. It's never, it can't be tight. You can't be going like this. You can't be letting her pull you like this because then tension on the leash creates a lot of stress in her, in the dog, and a lot of bad behavior will come back. So it's always gotta be loose. Okay, if you're gonna walk, you turn into her like that. See what I did? Like she kind of launched forward and I did this little, it's like tapping the brakes on a car or something. Just tap the brakes gently but firmly, turn into her. Okay, if she lags behind, coax her to catch up like that. If you want to turn. <laughs> okay, come on, she really wants to go that way, but we're not gonna go that way. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. So I'm doing a lot of left-hand circles, and at the end of that left-hand circle, sit. Good, like I would, I, I, every day I walk down the street. Okay, can you back up a little bit? I'm gonna do one more. Maybe like 10 feet, circle, left circle, sit. Good, that kind of stuff. Walk down the street, left circle, sit. Or right now you're practicing in your backyard in your house. Walk down a little sidewalk in your backyard, left circle, sit. Walk 10 feet, left circle, sit. Every time you go left, it draws her back to you. You have her sit, she has to be calm. She has to wait for your permission to get up again. Okay, walk, let's pretend I walked 10, 15 feet. Another left circle, sit. Good. She probably won't take food from you, so you just say good and pet her. That works for her. Um, and just do it around your backyard. Do it on your walkways. Do it through the house, through every room. That's how I got her to be so calm. And then you can al always, you can say go and release her, be free. If she's free, you still aren't gonna let her pull you. You've got this little prong collar on there that'll do most of the work for you. All you do, if she tries to pull you, you let her go to the end of it, just stand firm. You let her go to the end of it, she'll pull to the end, the prong collar will go like this, she'll back up. That's all you have to do. And if she's, for some reason, she's really out of her mind, you call her back to come to you, which will draw her back to you and go the other way. If, if something's going on that she's really lost control, but you see throughout the videos, the leash is always loose. Even if she's interested in something, whatever she thinks she sees, she stopped pulling now because if she goes to the end, it goes like that, it tightens and she backs up. Worst case scenario, you do this. That's all you have to do. It's very easy, it's very simple. If you let her pull you and you're doing this, there's, you, you never see me choke up or wrap the leash around or anything like that. That just causes more pulling and stress in the dog. So you see it just being very relaxed. It's over my left hand like that. If she goes out to the end of it, I do this. She comes back, that's it. It's not even a command. It's just a way to handle the leash when she's on free time. The difference is you're gonna be doing, there people do this for some reason and it creates all kinds of bad behavior. You don't do that. You just relax. She goes to the end. You do this and release. It's like a little, little prompt and then a release. For some reason, when you do that, the dog thinks that you're the leader, you're in charge. If you do this and you struggle with her, she thinks you're irrelevant and you'll have nothing. So that's the difference. These aren't commands. These are just simple leash rules. When she's on free time walking, you always keep that loose. You wanna get her back on the clock? Come, call her to come to you. Good girl, she comes to you. You step into her, you have her sit and then you can continue your walk on the clock if you want. Okay. Okay.